Hi, and welcome back to Chameleon Metadata's uh, tutorial series. Today we're going to do our newest tutorial, and it's on something called D2R Server. Uh, this, this takes older relational database tables and, uh, and such and creates them into a format known as linked data which will allow them to be used on the semantic web. What that really means in English is you can generate the XML records right out of your old um, old school um, relational databases. We're going to use MySQL today but all the other steps are the same and, and there's a link uh, to the different database connections if you're not going to use MySQL. So first thing we do is we click uh, note on that this may change uh, location over time it's new so it's at the top but it'll always be labeled uh, D2 uh, R server and the uh, course name is OWL RDF1 so you'll always be able to find that um, I'm recording the video right now we've got step-by-step -step instructions which we'll follow through we'll see this is super easy and the last thing is I've got a couple sample outputs in case you don't want to uh, do the entire lab or whatever. Now this uses, um, you know, I do a lot of training. So this is a shared set of student lab tables. They all hang off a record source and they use a structure that's known as a data vault. Uh, the, the only place you can really see it here is the University of California, Irvine, uh, has a flags data set that uh, a lot of people use. It's uh, for learning data science. And so what a data vault does is break things down into hubs and satellites. Um, and that's outside the scope. What is important, though, is if you click on any table, you can get right to the database. They're all here in the model, uh, whatever you need. So these are all hot links to each table. And it's this database that we're going to convert today. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm not going to torture you with watching me download zip files and whatnot. So we're going to download the zip file and unzip it. On my computer, I have a C and a D drive. So if you come into your computer, a lot of you only have C drives. If you do, that's okay. I try and keep the data. This is just a tutorial machine, but I'm putting all the data for the tutorials here. And these are the past ones that we've done and today we're going to do this one here. So that's how I'm going to do it. In any event, I'm going to download to a directory called D. I would suggest you leave this the same though. D2RQ-0.8.1. So as we saw before on the D drive, I have that directory and it's un unzipped into here. Um, that we don't need. That was from before. Watch, now the lab won't work. Okay, so we're in that folder. We've unzipped everything. The next thing we do is you download this file. These are all hot links. Uh, um, if, and if you do the little icon at the end, it'll start to download the connector. You know, this one's not that big. So it downloads. Again, we're going to unzip it. This time we're going to unzip it into the new folder we just made. And if you're using MySQL, if you're not using MySQL, just go down to the next one, um, down on A7, and we talk, uh, there's a, a link, a hot link for all the DB drivers for all these things. But what we're going to do, because this is old software, is we're going to take the, uh, the jar file for this connector and update it because it comes shipped with one, uh, one, 5.1.18. So we're going to copy from this. This is all we're doing. In the lib is a DB drivers. In this one, you can see I've already replaced it. So you would copy it in here, delete the old one. Don't have uh, two connector files for the same type database. And uh, you're good to go. It'll run with the one that it ships with. But I was getting a database error. It didn't crash anything. But when I put this new jar file on, that fixed it. Okay. Now, as I said before, if you want to create these tables in your own environment, I gave you all the, uh, the DDL to create it. 
sorry about that if you go uh there click the little the little guy there and it'll bring you right to here and so if we look at that this is all the creates table statements if if you want them and the insert so it's got all the data and the insert statements for you so that'll get you there um so we're not going to create the database as it already exists. And remember, that's DDL for on Chameleon's education page. We're going to D2R server. And you'll see them on a lot of the, the uh, lessons going forward. It's based on this data model, this database. You can click anything. I just gave you the uh, data definition language. So now the next thing we're going to do is, in my case, because I put... I unzipped everything to D, D2RQ081. I want to go into either on this PC, you can right click and do properties. You get that. Or the other way you can get to the path, this is a Windows 10, is right click this C PC and do properties. But either way, it gets you here. You want to go into advanced system settings, environment variables, and there's the path and you edit it. This is Windows 10. They've got a new way to do it. So you can see I've added it there. Um, if it's the older school, as I said in the uh, in the other, just make sure you put the semicolon and put it at the end. All right. So now the next thing, so we've added that. We're on to step C. I told you this is this is really easy. Next thing we're going to do is uh, Make sure that whatever you added as the path is there. So there's uh, two ways to do this. If you're in a Windows machine and you go into the search and just do CMD, we're looking for CMD exec. That'll open a command prompt window for us. Okay. And once we get that open, we just want to type path. And what we're looking for, we want to make sure that the D2RQ081 is in the path as you saw there. So it is, so we're good there. Now, well, it says using is still open. We'll open a new one. And in this case, you're going to open the command prompt again. I will make it uh, a little bigger so it's easier on the videos there. So I want to go to the D. I type D, and then I'm going to change directories, D2RQ-0.8.1. Okay, so we've done that. So we've checked our path. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, generate our output mapping. Okay, now this is really easy in here. Um, there is our D2R. Now, what I've done is I've put these commands in. I've pre-filled mine, you know, for the tutorial, but the, the generic is here. So you're going to put an output file. I generally try and put a matching to the database name. So you see the command I'm going to use here is uh, a database called Chameleon 2016 V09. In the command, it's on local host. This machine I'm on is actually a uh, Windows 10 with a different IP address. It's number 158 on this network. The, where MySQL is going, and this is wherever your MySQL database is, um, and that's where you're going to want to point it. Again, I've named the um, output file here the same. This is something else you have to change. So, but the the template command is there. I'm just using a uh, an ID and a password that uh, that'll throw away after this lesson. So there is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to generate a mapping. My output file is going to be the same as the name of the database, and I've got uh, make sure it needs to be .ttl. My user ID and password are in there. Again, throw away, so don't get uh, ideas that I'm that stupid, that I'm giving out my password. So now it's running, and what it just did was it mapped 
the I'm going to just minimize this and I'm going to close that. So what we just did with that was we mapped the entire uh, database that's shown here. So it just went out, it mapped it. Not only did it map it, it's got uh, the information it needs to um, now communicate using a different set of um, a different format called Semantic Web. So now let's look the next thing. We are getting down near the end, I told you. So we're going to start the, the server, so the red has to be as it is, and we're going to use your output name.ttl. So in my case, um, here it is, and you notice that I've filled in this has to match this. So whatever you mapped it to, because that's how it's going to know to start. So I'm going to start the server using that, and back to the command prompt paste, bang, and now it's saying it started, okay, and at this point, what I'm going to do is just type in this web address, localhost 2020, I put it in here to you too, so copy that, We'll open a new window, put that in there, and now here is your, your entire database has been um, dumped into RDF. Uh, if you have like the semantic web browsers like Disco or Marbles, you can go and point them here to all, and it knows there's your mapping or your... Um, your resource definition. There's Sparkle uh, Explorer, so if you want to do it, I'm just selecting from the first thing. Of course, you know, limit 100, we get more. This is getting me the, uh, the flags hub, and it's getting me the first few countries, as you could see. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the, uh, so that's your local, local, um, your local server, so that's how you've done that. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to dump the entire database into some different formats here. So let's go back into my command line, and as you see, I'm going to just take the TTL file and dump it to, uh, oh, and this is important, change, whenever you change that, I'm going to go to an RDF XML format. I like to keep the um, the suffix of the file the same. Okay, so we're going to do this command, and I'm going to copy that, put it over here. Okay, we're going to close that window and reopen a command prompt. D cd d2rq.0.8.1 and we're going to paste in that command and you know there's not much to see on the command prompt window but now what it's doing is it's actually going out to the database and reading them now while that's going on let's go back over to here and as you see the last link that we didn't go to is over here I've got all the files. Um, you can just click on these things. If you click here, this is the um, the data definition language for the tables. Okay. If we go to here, uh, this is the actual turtle mapping file, and that's how we're mapping. And you notice it's got. Uh, everything mapped out nice there again this is the mapping not the data and then there's different formats we use the uh, the RDF format you can use n triple and uh, if we go back to here if we click on this little icon there um, here's all the different formats turtle RDF XML 
the abbreviated N3 triple and uh, N triple is the default if you don't put anything in there. Now we notice it's done now. So we come over here and we notice we have an RDF file. Now in my case, I'm going to open it with, you know, my notepad. Uh, more apps there. That's what I'm using. Okay, and as we can see, it actually dumped the, the data. So this is Currency Hub, and it needs a primary key. That's a good point. So it takes the primary key as the instance, but it's actually dumped it all. And if we look, this is the Currency Hub. If we come back to here, and we go down below, there's the Currency Hub. And so if we're looking, oops, sorry about that. So that's the Currency Hub. And if we're looking for uh, six, uh, let's just copy this. And we'll put it over here. Search. So what that is, is the Bulgarian Lev. And the way the satellite works is this would be all the details. They use a two decimal precision. The ISO calls it a BGN. They've got a numeric code of 974 and so on. So with that, I believe we have finished all the objectives of this class. We've gone down um, all the steps. Feel free. Uh, this one here is just a mock-up. None of these links work, but I wanted you to be able to see what it works. But it's a really cool thing, this D2R server, um, and it can uh, convert into all these formats. Some of these get pretty big, so I just wanted to make sure you had a heads up before you download them. But from the database below, these are all the different things that we've, uh, we've done with this lab. So I, I converted it uh, three different ways for you. And there's that link. So with that, this is Eric Thornton signing off for Camellia Metadata. This has been uh, OWL RDF1 using D2R server to convert a MySQL database to RDF records. Thanks and bye.